there is no salt substitute. There's nothing we can add instead of salt. And the reason is we don't know how salt taste works. Most species that consume plants have a danger of not getting enough salt because uh, sodium in plants is usually low. So animals have developed the taste to be able to detect this particular mineral because the mineral is absolutely critical. If you don't have enough, you'll die. It's in the U.S. There's 100,000 extra deaths per year due to higher salt intake. Smoking tobacco is 400,000. So it's a big, big deal. The number that's being consumed is about 3,600, and nobody thinks that 3,600 is good for you. One of the other approaches to reducing sodium intake in the, in the population is to gradually put people on low sodium diets so that they will, their taste preferences will shift downwards. FDA and the CDC are now preparing recommendations that the companies that make food, which is where most of our salt comes from, is asking them to gradually reduce the amount of sodium if they did that over a period of years, the whole population would shift. So there's sort of two strategies to reduce sodium intake. One would be to find a substitute or enhancer. Another would be to shift the population down. There is no molecule that tastes purely salty other than sodium chloride and another one, lithium chloride. Uh, but lithium chloride is poison, so that's not a good salt substitute. And this is very different than sweet taste, where we've got things, lots of molecules that taste sweet. The reason for that probably is the importance of sodium. Now, potassium chloride, in fact, has a salty taste to it, but it also has, for most people, an off taste, a bitter taste. One area of research that we're doing here is to try to find out what makes the potassium chloride taste bitter, because if we could actually get rid of that part, then potassium chloride might make an excellent sodium substitute. Now, some people say that if we were consuming too much potassium, people with heart disease would, would then have uh, difficulties, and so one has to be careful there as well. But potassium chloride is a very interesting compound because it also has some of the properties that sodium chloride does for cooking and making bread and things like that, things that make salt sort of a miracle ingredient. Thanks for watching Eater. If you love food science, click here now to check out more from our friends over at DNews. At the end of the first trimester, the fetus is only 28 grams and doesn't require additional nutrition, but let's run the numbers. The Journal of Tropical Pediatrics reports the mean increases for the women that they studied were nine calories per day for the first trimester, eight for the second trimester, and a sharp increase to 216 for the third.